good morning to you all my dear students i hope you are all fine and safe isn't it okay have you completed your homework good let's start our math class now we are going to study about ratio and proportion okay ratio and proportion that is chapter 8 okay ratio what is ratio the a ratio is a comparison of the masses of two similar quantities okay two similar quantities now a ratio is a comparison of the masses of two similar quantities okay that is uh, 300 ml and 120 ml this is two quantities isn't it as a fraction we can write fraction form 300 ml by 200 120 ml now we can simplify 300 divided by 120 6 table 2 6 12 5 6 5 2 is it we can write it as a fraction form now this is we can write in uh, ratio form as a ratio 300 is to 120 how can you read this symbol is to okay now 300 is to 120 or 5 is to 2 This is the ratio form. This is the fraction form. Okay. Now this a ratio has no unit. Okay. Here yam mal yam mal. We can cancel it. No unit ratio. If you write in ratio form, they have no units. The symbol is two. The symbol name is is two. How can we read is two? Okay. Now the numerator or the first quantity of the ratio, which is the first quantity of the ratio, numerator. Otherwise, this in ratio form here first. This is the first quantity of the ratio. Otherwise, this is the first. This is numerator. Now this numerator is known as antecedent. Otherwise, the first quantity of the ratio is known as antecedent. A N T E C E D E N T. Okay, the numerator or the first quantity of the ratio is known as its antecedent. Okay, then the denominator or the second quantity, denominator or the second quantity of the ratio is known as its consequent. Okay, consequent, consequent. Okay. The first quantity of the ratio is known as antecedent. The second quantity of the ratio is known as consequent. Are you clear about the symbol name is is two? Ratio has no units. The symbol is unit. The numerator is known as antecedent. Otherwise, the first quantity of the ratio is known as antecedent. The denominator is known as consequent. Otherwise, the second quantity of the ratio is known as consequent. Are you clear? One more point. Fourth one. For ratio to be used for the comparison of masses. Okay. Ratio to be used for comparison of masses. We can compare the masses. That both masses are expressed in same units. Now here, suppose a two ratios. That is, one kg is to two hundred. Sorry, twenty grams. If like this, we count means we count masses. That both masses expressed in same units. So now here different units. Okay. First we can express the same unit. Here one kg, here twenty gram. So one kg means how many gram? Thousand gram. So now we can convert into gram. Now we have same units. Then we can um, we can write it. Ratio. Okay. Now the for ratio to be used for comparison of masses that both masses are expressed in the same units. Are you clear? Okay. Now on example, find the ratio between two one seven one by seven kg and two one by three kg. Same unit, so no need to change any other units. Okay. Now here two one by seven means this is the mixed fraction. Now we can convert into improper fraction. Seven to seven fourteen plus one fifteen by seven. Now second one two one by three two one by three equal to three to seven six plus one seven by three. Now we can write the ratio form fifteen by seven is to seven by three. 
15 by 7 is to 7 by 3. Now, can 4 is to 3 means we how can you write in fraction form? This is the numerator 4 by 3. Isn't it? 4 by 3. Now, listen. This is the ratio. First, um, this is the ratio. This is ratio form. Isn't it? Now, we can convert into fraction form. How can you write? Okay. Now, 15 by 7. This is divided by. This is the numerator. This is the denominator. Isn't it? The 15 divided by 7 divided by 7 by 3. This is the meaning. Isn't it? 4 divided by 3. So, this fraction divided by this. So, we can write here division. Isn't it? 7 by 3. This is the meaning. Now, we can change into multiplication. 15 by 7 into reciprocal of 7 by 3 is 3 by 7. Isn't it? Now, 15 by 7 into 3 by 7. Now, we can multiply. 15 into 3 is 45. Divided by 7, 7, 7. 49. Now we can write its ratio. Okay. Therefore, the ratio is is how can you write 45 is to 45 is to 49. This is the ratio. Are you clear? First we can convert it to improper fraction. Then we can write in fraction form. Then we can simplify it. Then that is it, the ratio form. Clear? So one more example. Find the measures of the angles of a triangle if the ratio of their measures for measure is 4 is to 12 is to 29. Now, here we have one triangle that is for this is A, this is B, this otherwise this is A, B and C. Okay? Now here, that the measures, triangle with the ratio of their measures, A, this is A, this is B, this is C. Okay? This is 4. A is, A is equal to 4. This is B is equal to 12. This is 29. Okay? Now listen here. Sum of the ratio. Okay? Sum of the terms of the ratio. Sum of the terms. In ratio. Terms in the ratio is equal to what? Uh, to a 4 plus 12 plus 29. Isn't it? 4 plus 16 plus 29, 45. Okay? 45. Now we want to find each angle. Okay? Now we can we know that. Sum of all angles of a triangle is sum of all angles of a triangle is equal to sum of all angles. Sum of all angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. Isn't it? Already we have learned about that. The properties of triangle. Sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now listen, this total ratio 145. Isn't it? Now we can find what is A, what is B, what is C. Now, angle A is equal to what is angle A? 4 by what is the total ratio? 45 each sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 degree. Okay. Now we can, can simplify it. We will get what is A. Okay. Now, uh, is it 3 table? 1, 3 is 3. 5, 3 is 15. 6, 3 is 18. 0. Now, 3, 5 is 15. 1, 5 is 5. Again, 2, 5 is 10. 1, 3 is 3. 4, 5 is 5. 4, 3 is 12. Now, 4 and 4, isn't it? 4 into 4 equal to 16 degree. So, A is equal to 16 degree. Okay. Now, so B is equal to, and B is equal to, what is B? 12. 12 by 45 into 180. Now, you see 5 table, 9 5 is 45, 2 5, uh, 3 5 is 15, 6 5 is 30. 1 9 is 9, 4 9 is 36. 12 into 4, 12 into 4 equal to 48 degree. Okay, 12 into 4 is equal to? 48 degree. Then, angle C is equal to 
What is C? C is equal to 29. 29 divided by 45 total ratio into 180 degree. Now 9 by 45 to 3 by 15, 6 by 36, 1 6 9 is 9, 4 9 is 36. Equal to 29 into 4 equal to 29 into 4 is equal to 9 plus 36, 3 balance, 4 to 8. 8 plus 3, 11. 116 degree. Now listen, here I am A is equal to therefore, and A is equal to 16 degree. And if B is equal to 48 degree. And if C is equal to 116 degree. Now we can add this 3. And if we add this 3 angles, we will get 180 means that answer is correct. Okay. Now we get 16 degree plus 48 plus 116. 22 balance. 4, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is it two balance? Now get eight, then one. 180 degrees. So angle A is equal to 60 degree, 16 degree, angle B is equal to 48 degree, angle C is equal to 116 degree. So the measures of the angle is 16 degree and 48 degree, then 116 degree. Are you clear about this? First we want to find sum of the terms in the ratio. Then we can, I already we know sum of all the angles of a triangle. Then we can simplify. We will get the answer. Are you clear? Now, exercise 8.1. Find the ratio of the following. Find the ratio of the following. First one, 240 millimeter and 6 centimeter. Second one, rupees 136. 1 rupee 36 points and 85 points. Now listen, if you want uh, find the ratio means that uh, we need same units, isn't it? Now listen here, this is millimeter, this is centimeter, different units. Now we can express this same units, units, okay? Now here millimeter, this is centimeter, isn't it? Now we can change this centimeter into millimeter. Otherwise, turn the millimeter into centimeter, okay? Now listen, 240 millimeter, 1, milli, one centimeter, 10 millimeter. Now get 6 cm, isn't it? 6 cm, 1 cm is equal to 10 mm. Cm or the mm, which is possible you can do, okay? Now here, 1 cm is equal to 10 mm, therefore 6 cm is equal to 6 into 10 mm. So, 60 mm. Now we get same units. So, 240 mm and 60 millimeter. Now we can write in fraction form. Uh, 240 is to 60. Isn't it? Equal to. This is meaning 240 by 60. 0, 0 cancel. 166, 4, 6 are 24. So, 4 by 1. What is how, what's the ratio? Therefore, the ratio is 4 is to 1. Okay, the ratio is 4 is to 1. Now, second one, rupees 1.36 means 1 rupee 36 pence. 85 pence we can't change into rupee. So, we can change this rupee into pence. 1 rupee is equal to, isn't it? 1 rupee is equal to 100 pence. Therefore, third, uh, one, 1 rupee 36 pence is equal to 100 plus 36 pence. Isn't it? So 136 pence. Now 136 pence and 85 pence. Now we can write 136 is to 85 is equal to 136 by 85. We can use 17 table otherwise you can divide it. 17 table 5 times 85. 8 times 136. So 8 by 5. We can write what is the ratio? 8 is to 5. 8 is to 5 is the ratio. Okay. Now arrange the following ratios in ascending order. Ascending order means small to big. Isn't it? Now here we have uh, ratio form. Now we can write in fraction form. 
3 by 2, then 5 by 1, then 11 by 13. Isn't it? 11 by 13. Now we have 5 by 1, 3 by 2, 11 by 13. Now we can write in decimal form. 3 by 2 means 3 divided by 2, 1, 2 is 2, 1 balance, point zero. 5 to the 10. So 1.5 comma, then 5 by 1, 5 by 1 means 5 comma, then 11 by 13, 11 by 13, 11 divided by 13. Uh, now we have 0 point, 0 we can add in 0, 0 point, uh, we have 10 times, 9 times I think, isn't it? 9 times you will not get 8, 8 3 is a 24, 2 balance, only in the 8, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 104, again 6 balance, isn't it? Then 0, 4 times 12, 5, isn't it? 52 again 8. 0 0.84. Isn't it? Now listen. Here which is the first. We, we can write in ascending order. Which is first. 0 0.84 is the small. Next 1.5. Then 5. So first we can write. 11 by 13. 11 by 13. Then second. 3 by 2. Then 5 by 1. Isn't it? That is in writing ratio form. 11 is to 13 comma 3 by 2. Isn't it? 3 is to 2 comma 5 is to 1. Okay? This is the ascending order. Now, next this is 3 by 4 is to 4 by 5. Now, we can that is division. Isn't it? So, 3 by 7 if you write in multiplication means we can write the reciprocal of 5 by 4 by 5. That is 5 by 4. Now, 5, 3 are 14. Okay. Now, we can write this one. 2 by 3 into 2 by 1. 5 by 7 into 7 by 3. Why? This ratio that is division. Division is converted to multiplication means we can write the second fraction uh, is in uh, reciprocal. Okay. Now here we can write 5 3 is 15 by 7 3 is 7 4 is 28. 2 2 is 4 by 1 into 3 3. 7 by 7 35 by 7 3 is 21. Now we can write in the decimal form. Uh, 15 by 28. 15 by 28 means 0 points. We can add here 0. 5 times means 5, 8 by 7, 40, 5 to 7, 10, 10 plus 4, 40. Then again, 1. So, 0 point, uh, now here, 100 means 3 times, 8, 3 is 24, 2 balance, 6, 8, 84. Again, 6, 1, isn't it? 16. Now, we have 0 point, 5, 3. Now 4 by 3, 4 divided by 3. 1, 3 is 3. 1 balance. 3, 3 is 9 again. 1.33 etc. Okay. Now 35 by 21. 35 divided by 21. 121 is 21. 4 balance. 14, 0. Now 4, 5, 6 times means 6 times 6. 126. 10 minus 4. Here 1. 140. Isn't it? Again 140 will get. Isn't it? Then 1.66. Okay. Now which is small? This 0 0.53. Then 1.33. Then 1.66. So we can write. How can we write? 3 by 7. 3 by 7 is to 4. By 5 is passed. Then 2 by 3 is to 1 by 2. Then 5 by 7 is to 3 by 7. That is in order, isn't it? This is the answer. Exercise 8.1 third question. What is the ratio of the areas of two squares with the sides measuring 4 cm and 6 cm respectively? Now, first square. 
that is one side is 4 cm then second square there one side is 6 cm isn't it okay now here what is the area isn't it area of area of the first square equal to a square isn't it a square square units isn't it a square square units that formula now 4 square centimeter square 4 4 are 16 centimeter square then area of the second square area of the second square is equal to 6 square a square square units 6 square centimeter square equal to 6 6 are 36 centimeter square now the ratio of the areas of two square okay therefore the ratio of the area of two squares equal to 16 is to 36. Isn't it? 16 is to 36. Now we can write 16 by 36. Now 4 table 9 fours are 36. 4 fours are 16. So our answer 4 is to 9. Isn't it? 4 is to 9 is the answer. Now fifth question. The perimeter of the square is 26 centimeter. Perimeter of the square formula 4a. Isn't it? 4a equal to 26 centimeter. While the area of another square is 121. Area means a square equal to 121 centimeter square. Okay? Now listen. Here we can find, find the rays of their length. One side we want to find what is the side? Length. Now here a. This is one square means that side one side is the side name is A. What is A? You want to find A. A is equal to 26 divided by 4. Isn't it? Yes. Now 2 to sir 4. 1 2 is 2. 3 to sir 6. Isn't it? So that is 13 by 2 centimeter. Okay. Now A square. We need A. Isn't it? A square. A is equal to square root of 121 centimeter square. Square root means that is 110 centimeter. Isn't it? Okay. Now here A square. We can convert into A means this square will come here. Square root. Okay. Now here A is equal to 11 centimeter. 11. Okay. Inside centimeter into centimeter inside the square centimeter. Isn't it? So A is equal to 11 centimeter. Now, here what is 13 by 2 centimeter and here 11 centimeter. Now we can write the ratio. What is the ratio? Therefore, the ratio of, of their lengths equal to 13 by 2 is to 11. 11 means 11 by 1, isn't it? Now we can write 13 by 2 into 1 by 11. Isn't it? Equal to 13 by 2 into 11, 22. Now what is the ratio? 13 is to 22 is the ratio. 13 is to 22 is the ratio. Are you clear? First we are there given what is the perimeter of the square. Perimeter of the square formula 4a. Now we need a. So 4, 26 divided by 4. That is 13 by 2 centimeter. Then A square is equal to that is area 121 centimeter square. What is A? Square root. Isn't it? This square will come this side means that is square root. 121 centimeter square means centimeter. Isn't it? Now here we can write here 121 centimeter square. Now outside centimeter. Isn't it? 2 times centimeter outside only one time. 121 means 121 means 11 into 11 is equal to 11. Are you clear? 121 is equal to square root of 121 is equal to 11 into 11. Okay? So, only one time 
11 centimeters. So that ratio is now we can simplify it. 13 is to 22 is the ratio of their lengths. Okay. Today's formula book page number 78, exercise 8.1, question number 1, 1 to 4, then question number 2, third question, question number 6, sixth question. Then it's question number 6. Okay. These are the homework. Uh, we can continue next class. Thank you.